Hi everyone and welcome back to our Gmail training. In this lesson, we're going to talk about smart features that are built right into Gmail, especially the nudges, which I find extremely helpful. So here we are in Gmail. So let's jump into the settings that we've been working our way through. We left off with archiving, which is magic, right? After that, we have settings here for default text style, our images, dynamic emails. We can also turn on and off our grammar suggestions, our spelling suggestions, or autocrat. Let's continue to scroll down. Here we have Smart Compose. Now this is predictive writing suggestions that appear as you type. It can really help improve the speed at which you type and respond to emails. Every second counts. Those five seconds saved here and there add up to minutes and hours saved on your day. Now the next setting we have below goes along with Smart Compose. Do you want Smart Compose to be personalized to your writing style? If so, turn it on, and if not, turn it off. For example, if you tend to sign off your emails with see y'all later, it will detect your use of the word y'all, and use that accordingly when it's writing suggestions. If you tend to start your emails with hi everyone, or good morning, or just a simple hi, it will detect that and make that suggestion when you start an email. Again, turn this on or off to fit your preference. We'll look at it in action here shortly. Now, just below this is conversation view, which we've touched on a little bit. It groups our email chains together so that you don't have a separate email for each response to the original email that you received. And now we have nudges. Oh, how this one feature has saved me and many others since it was added to Gmail. You can use one, both, or none of these nudges. Gmail can remind you to reply to an email or suggest you follow up with someone who hasn't responded. Last thing we're going to touch on in this lesson is smart reply. That's the suggested response to an email. So turn that on or off to fit your preference. Let's scroll to the bottom, click save, and take a look at these. Let's open up an email and what's the first thing you see? Those are the smart reply suggestions that we just looked at. When turned on, they will appear just like this. If you click on one, you will enter draft mode to write your email with that suggested reply included. Let's type out a response to see Smart Compose in action. As I type, notice the first thing it suggests when I start with the letter H is my name. I clearly write that a lot, so as I type, notice the text that is being predicted. Sometimes it predicts what I was going to type. Sometimes it simply helps me add something I didn't think about adding, which is great, such as this last sentence here. If I want to use the suggestion, I can click the tab key on my keyboard to accept that suggestion. And that's it, which is awesome. So that is your smart feature. Now back to my inbox. On the right is an example of a nudge. Gmail is suggesting to follow up with someone who hasn't responded to an email that was sent. When you hover over the nudge, you do have the option to dismiss it. This can be a really big help, especially for those that deal with a large amount of emails on a daily basis. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.